Good day, it's Jake Kismi here from Gadget Tech, and today, guys, I'm going to give you some little tips on how to achieve a very clean and, um, you know, proper way of cutting your gumpla parts from the sprue and how to sand it properly. Okay, so I hope these basic tips can uh, give you some help on how to achieve a very nice gumpla once you're done. Okay, I'm well, most of the time when I assemble my gumpla, I really spend time doing it. Because I want a clean one, I don't want uh, to see uh, nub marks and uh, yes, even if I'm painting it. But anyway, and so these are the things that I'm using. I have this sharp nipper, guys. You can buy this anywhere. Then you'll be needing this one too. This is uh, you can buy this anywhere in the hardware. This cutter, and I'm, I'm not using a plastic one. Before I was using that one. You need this too, okay? It's very helpful and uh, sandpaper I'm using the 1000 grit and the 600 grit but most of the time I'm using the 1000 grit okay um, cotton and water or you can replace the water with alcohol okay so let me give you a little tip on how to cut your couple of parts okay so you go under like this it okay mm, let me fix the camera first there just like that okay and at the tip of my nipper that's where I cut Then, other side, don't do things like that, or that, that's not good. Make sure that this side of your nipper is the one touching the uh, uh, the gumpla part, and make it sure that only the you know, tip of your nipper is doing the cut. So, observe. Mm -hmm. So, I have this excess, and I can remove that with this. So, Okay, now I go to the sunpaper, the 1000 grit. See that? Okay, then you go get the uh, cotton with the water and clean it. Beautiful. Other side. Okay, let me clean this up. Okay, now you don't have the marks. This head here. Yeah. I like the 1000. Some they use 600 and they go to 1000, but I seldom use a 600. I only do that if I have, you know, uh, problems with some of the parts, lots of excess. But here, 
I can manage it with just the 1000 so it's now 100% clean there you have it guys Jay Kazuma here from Gadget Talk and I hope I'm helping you in how to achieve a clean Gumpla parts so that when you assemble your Gumpla you don't have some knob marks thank you very much for watching